Hi folks, today I made another video just to let you know the challenges that we faced. When I arrived in 2015, September the 2nd, on Schiphol, I was in a wheelchair. It was not fun. Yesterday I turned 70 and I had determined to do something about my health. I'd done something before and over the last 20 years I've been suffering a lot of pain and stress and other things that I don't want to go into. I wrote a book about it, if you want to read it. And um, the fact is that in life, things don't always go the way you expect it to be. But what do you do about it? The background here is something we used to have on our property in Canada. I had an, a little river going around and we had koi and other things, and this was to me peaceful. So I want to share something with you that we can set and make up our mind. As long as we purpose ourselves, as long as we focus on something we want to do. I made it a point to start losing weight in March. I've helped hundreds of people to lose weight in the course of my life and, and all kinds of enterprises, but reality is to do it yourself. You know who you are, you know what to do, but you don't do it. So I committed myself by verbally stating on Facebook, I am going to do this. This was halfway March. In April and May, I started purposely walking, started focusing my muscles, working out my toes that I could curl them out, curl them up again, and started stretching my muscles. Simple. Folks, I just turned 70. Okay, there are certain things that you have to realize. If you haven't run like a racehorse, then start slow. Don't overdo it and gradually I came from 115 kilos I thought it was 110 but the scale didn't work so when I got the proper scale it was 115 kilos that I weighed when I started and this morning it was 102 so that means 13 kilos can you imagine the stress that it took off my knees all of a sudden I can walk with a jump again and you know what oxidative stress that is actually all the stress that ate you it's not necessary. This is real, folks. This is real. Yes, this is real, okay? And we can have a proper attitude. That's why we call it Seed Sower's Brain Train. I had to change my brain. I had to make a decision. So do you. Do you want to come with us and become part of Seed Sower's Brain Train? And remember, tough times never last. Tough people do.